Oh, wait. Sorry. I'm pretending that they're doing the... Hey, hey. You know how it starts? Anybody? Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Hi. Welcome to the Brook Hill Podcast. Life, legacy, and leadership. Woo-hoo. Let's go. I am your host. We had to upgrade for this one because this is a very special podcast. But I'm your host, Olivia Ross, formerly known as Olivia Pate. I did know her once. (laughs) It's a big deal. I'm here with some pretty cool people, actually. So I'll go around the table. We'll do a little intro table go around. Um, I'm here with the Emma Manser. Hello, everyone. So happy to be here. (laughs) That's good. Um, <laughs> she has previously been on a podcast, so we know Emma from past. But please go give that one a listen. My numbers are a little bit down, so I'm gonna throw in a shameless plug. We'll be but posting. I promise it's worth it. We'll be reposting. Re- we'll be reposting that specific podcast. Um, I'm also here with the Julia Razor. Oh. Oh. Hey everybody! Happy to be back. I got bangs. She did get bangs. So, if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music, then I'm so sorry. You should come give it, give it a watch. Head over to YouTube if you don't want to miss this. I was about to say, if you're on Spotify right now, I would run to YouTube. Um, Great. Come check them out. Julia's bangs and also my earrings and Emma's earrings. On the table. On the table. So, if you want to know where they're from, just check out our TikToks. Just kidding. We're starting TikToks. <laughs> Perfect. Um, oh, yeah. And we have another special guest, Emma Kate Elliott. And Emma Kate has actually never been on the podcast. So true. So we're so excited <laughs> that she's here. Woo. EK, for our viewers who may not know you, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Maybe where you go to school, what you do for a living. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, that's school. Yeah, so true. <laughs> um, I'm from Conway, Arkansas originally, Ooh. but I go to school at Washtenaw Baptist University, Ooh. and I'm Christian Studies and Speech Path double major, so yeah, Whoa. so Whoa. much fun. So fun. Which yes. one do you prefer? Um, <laughs> I prefer not to answer that question. That okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's so fair. <laughs> this is a scary thing. Oh, All right, that's so fine. Fair. You, you, you so can fair. do both. That's fine. So true. That's so true. Well, that's so fun. Thank a you blast. for joining us today, everybody. Happy to be here. It's so a big happy deal. to be here. Um, so we're really just going to be hanging out and girl talking and just talking like about how fun that. it is to be a girl. And me and Emma were talking about it earlier, and it there's just so many fun perks. And so I felt like the four of us, and we're also different, too. And I thought that that was so, so cool. Like, when we were putting together the podcast, we were like, all right, what about this? Well, what about this? And then it was like what a fun group. Like, it was like, who can <laughs> even make it here? And then it was like, well, Juju, well, EK, well, Emma, well, I can do it. And so it was just so fun, like, to see how different everybody is. And so I knew this podcast would be so fun just because everybody's in different phases, but we're all, like, the same and love Jesus the same. And so I think right. it's so cool that we're all here and just chatting. Well, I love it. Thanks for having us, Liv. <laughs> yes. Guys, it's my honor. Truly. <laughs> truly. <laughs> Em and I were just like, we're just going to chat it up. I think we should discuss what <clears throat> we enjoy the most right now, this second. What we're into. For me, it's quilting. <laughs> right? I will go ahead and take that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> I love quilting so much. Um, I'm brand new to quilting. Congratulations. Thank thank you. Um, If anyone (laughs) wants a quilt, I hate to break it to you. They are expensive, but I will make one if the price is right. How? What price is right, hypothetically? I have no idea, but (laughs) that is unhelpful information. I hate to break it to you. (laughs) That's a not good entrepreneurial strategy. I wish that I could say that, like, making clothing is, like, less expensive than buying it, but it's not. Fabric is so expensive. It's, Mm -hmm. like, insane. Um, and yeah. so therefore, when you get a lot of fabric, which you need to do quilting, it's so expensive, sure. but it's so worth it and so fun. And I just 
made a quilt for, for those of you guys that don't know me, I work at Brook Hill full time now. <laughs> um, this is my first year to do Ooh. it. Started in September. I love the it. best of us do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I do too. Um, but I just made a baby quilt for my coworker. Her name is Katie Beth. You guys might know her. <laughs> um, yeah, you do. And she's about to have a baby. Yay. And so um, I made her baby a little baby quilt. And it was it's so, so cute. So cute. So I'm looking to make a new one sometime soon. That is a really fun hobby. Thanks. And I'm glad you told us about that. Yeah. I love that for you, Emma. Yeah. Um, well, personally, um, lately, I've been really into um, crafting my own coffee <gasps> drinks and mm. actually just kind of miscellaneous things at home. We were talking, yeah. to, uh, actually, before we started recording about Swig. <laughs> and so I'm, yes. I'm yes. throwing it in here <laughs> yes. right Thank now. Thank you. But if anybody... Did, Sorry, Emma, I guess I'm going to kind of steal your thunder on it. But mm -hmm. um, if anybody doesn't know, it's this like new, a lot of people call it like what Utah soda. But yeah. um, it's like sodas mixed with all different flavors and stuff, which like they already do at Sonic. But they also put like coconut cream yeah. and like different random combinations and stuff into it. And they're so so good so yeah. stuff like that i made like a little vanilla lime diet coke Ooh, at home the other day love. she was good yes um, but good. also i got an espresso for christmas and so i've been you know crafting up my little lattes uh, an americano every Ooh. once in a while um she's so, fancy yeah, she she is. Is. What, what, what can i say barista i wish era. that i was a barista i wish that i could be one genuinely um, but you know, cards have not fallen in my favor in that in that department. So here we are. Now uh, you know that's okay. Doing it, doing it at home, and that's all right. That is all right. Speaking of Christmas, <laughs> y'all, I was talking to my mom. I'm so excited for Christmas. Is Already? anybody like ready for? I'm ready for Christmas. Queen, it's April, but I'm ready for Christmas. <laughs> okay. Speaking of Christmas, you guys have got to come to the two week because we do a Christmas <laughs> parade. Oh, you, yeah. true. you cannot miss that. <laughs> right. You did I mention that my job here is marketing? <laughs> Emma can get some marketing done around here, y'all. <laughs> she can get people. Spe two weeks. Speaking of the two weeks, we also have an April promo going on. If any of you parents oh are God. listening, where Dana you can this split. For you. <laughs> Shout out to Dave for this April promo. You can split your deposit for the month of April. Oh, thank so goodness. The, thank goodness. So save your spot. Four fifty. Not for April. Two twenty-five. May thirteenth. The other two twenty-five. Does you it get any better? That. You cannot beat it. What a crazy thing. Anyway. I hate to break it to you. I do not yet have children to send to camp. But well, tell your I'm so parent thankful. friends. <laughs> tell a friend to tell, tell a friend. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend's mom. Okay. Or dad. To be specific. Will do. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> well, I'm really glad we went over that. Well, personally, I've been in my pickleball era <gasps> at Washtaw. Yeah, we're actually getting courts built, so it's kind of a big no deal. No way. That Incredible. is a big deal. That's so exciting. Yeah, so me and my friends will go play, and it's so much fun. I even got my own paddle. has my name on it, so I'm feeling kind of <gasps> no official. Way. Kind of Fancy. sporty. Cute. All the things. What oh, color is the paddle? It's purple. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. It's pretty so great. Not going to lie. Are you so good? You. Um, I would say I'm getting better. <laughs> That's, you know? She said, I'm There's good. always room for improvement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's so fun. That's awesome. Well, so are you gonna like graduate to tennis or like just Ooh, stay? Whoa. So that, and that's not that's, that's not a diss. I don't yeah, play I either. I don't question. play either. <laughs> so I actually played tennis my senior year of high school. Oh hey, and I'm proud only of you. My senior year. So. <laughs> okay, I bet that was really good. Yeah, it was great. So. You should pick up pickleball and tennis. It's a great experience. Wait, that's so fun. Yes, it is really do fun. Do the cute little like outfits? Um, I think yeah, it's I do. Just so cute. <gasps> little tennis skirt moment. You know, <laughs> you gotta I love a tennis feel skirt. good to play good. So. Yes, it's couldn't it's vital. Could not agree more with that. So I true. impulsively bought two new skirts um, like two days ago from Old Navy. They were having they were having a fifty percent off um, right. athletic wear right. sale. Still right. happening? Well, um, <laughs> well, probably not by the time this airs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and it's supposed to be here tomorrow, so <gasps> I'm very excited about that. I got two little skirts um, that mm -hmm. little, little squirt moment, mm -hmm. um, you know, athletic whatever. And mm -hmm. then I also got two pairs of like wide leg pants. <gasps> really into that at the moment. Love. Yes. Yeah. Um, like kind of a little bit like sweat panty, but also Ooh. like, oh, okay, like potentially you could dress these up and like not look like with enough jewelry. a hobo walking outside. Yes. The jewelry. Giving the jewelry. Enough yes. <laughs> we love an accessory here. <laughs> so <laughs> very excited about Back that. Back to the earrings, y'all. <laughs> just so you're aware, we tried to like put them in the headphones. It just doesn't quite work out. The headphones are not girl coded, but it's okay. We're working on it. They're, Don't worry, they're guys. They're not. They're not. That's, that's a so true. A lot of this, I think that. 
although the board does say with Olivia, it does still <laughs> feel very with David Pate y. Um right. and so maybe at some point I'll I'll tell you guys, listener, I'll tell you this. <laughs> um <laughs> I did actually tell David that if we were going to do a girl talk, we needed a couch. Can you so imagine? Yes. Oh imagine gosh. a set with a couch. So, you're right. Um, this is why you're in charge of marketing. So, so that's good this stuff. Is, so this is it. YouTube viewers, y'all comment that. Yeah, let's hear it. Bring in the couch. <laughs> Bring the in the couch. couch. Like a green, like velvety yes. couch. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Such a we would be, couch. Or like like a brown leather couch with like green little plants next to it. Yes. Right. So good. And like the little... Um, wallpaper behind it right. does it get cute do y'all know maddie pru yeah she yeah. also has a podcast all the things and she just put up <sighs> did you just go with her. it Sorry. yes i love her okay maddie, yeah. did you... <laughs> okay never mind <laughs> okay don't talk to us <laughs> then the three of us is all yeah, that we got <laughs> right now okay. but she just did like her little tiktok of like set up my podcast room with me and like did like a you'll have to go see it it's really cute shout out to she maddie probably had a couch she definitely already had a couch. There's That's no doubt. Amazing. But like, she really spiced up the area, and hey, it was so you know cute. What? Those signs. Facebook Marketplace is great for couches, though. You know, May <gasps> maybe you'll find a little hidden yeah. treasure. Oh my gosh! That's such a good idea. I actually saw a <laughs> <laughs> saw a couch on Facebook Marketplace this morning. Um, I have yes. been on Facebook Marketplace recently, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm embarrassed of this. <laughs> In okay. case any of you married. don't know, oh, you just get ready for it, girl. <laughs> Buckle in. In case none of you knew, I my car went to be with Jesus very recently. Rest. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. No, this is nay. not <laughs> nay, nay. No, no, no. no. So. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. regret that, and I hope you regret that too. For, for those of you not with us, um, in the visuals, I did just, I did just physically nay nay, and I would like to publicly apologize to those of you who did have to watch it. Yes, yeah. we're saying My come for the bangs, not for the nay. <laughs> that that needs to be on a t-shirt <laughs> with Julia's face on it. Can't wait. Go for the bangs, not the nay. The nay, nay. To be Are we gonna get merch for this podcast? Uh, okay, Probably. Y we're gonna have to get Swig and Seven Drew and our. Everybody's gonna have to sponsor us in this. Then we're gonna have to get a couch. We if we get a couch, you have to make oh. us a quilt, Emma, uh, for the couch to sit on the couch. That's so perfect. They should that let all cool. girls do this more often. We're making so many upgrades already. I was yeah. about to say we are awesome. changing the direction of the podcast. <laughs> While we're at it, personally, I would like to see a pink microphone. We're you can on say that way. again. I, I'm going to grab some paint really quick, <laughs> actually. And Head up to the craft Go to town room. on this red. <laughs> oh. We're in the podcast, and Emma's like... <laughs> Mid-podcast. She's bedazzling her mic. Yeah. Pause this for a second. <laughs> yeah, that would with be, Emma. That would be really great. Anyway, so the reason I was on Facebook Marketplace, my, my car did go to heaven. And so, you know... <laughs> <laughs> you start to get in a really desperate place. <laughs> where it's like okay well we can't fix your car like it'll be a million dollars to fix the engine like everything that's wrong with naturally. it naturally a million dollars one million dollars. it was very close to a million dollars. it was uh, it really was you should have seen all the zeros and so you know you just you go car shopping and you're like okay those are really expensive let's go to lightly used <laughs> Sure. <laughs> so you head on to Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Y'all should see the amount of cars on Facebook Marketplace. But what they do is they get you. I was like, Ethan, here's a car for five hundred. <laughs> oh my god! And he was like, Sweetie Pumpkin Pie, that is the monthly payment for that car. Like I was like, not just like a one-time five hundred. You said, oh. is that a brand new Forerunner for five hundred dollars? <laughs> <laughs> and it was. But oh, was I We've wrong? All seen them. So I'm a little <laughs> against. Facebook marketplace these False days. False advertising, honestly. It is. I would like to take a second to say, mm -hmm. if there are any viewers or listeners out there <laughs> that are like, wow, I would love to bless Olivia Ross with a new car. Oh. I would like to throw this in there for me as well. <laughs> um, I actually have the exact same car as Olivia, <laughs> except five years older. <laughs> and okay, my, yours is running. Did it get you car, here to work? My car also <laughs> screams. And I'm not saying it does not whistle. It screams. You can hear it from about you three can. miles away. Mm -hmm. And it also smokes just a little bit. So mm -hmm. if, if you're wanting to do a two-for-one awesome. special on giving away cars, we will accept them 
wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. I mean, if we're making donations, then, then, then I want one too. My car's fine, but I would love a new one. <laughs> people like you your okay, car you don't is want one. i actually love my car okay whatever Whoa. yeah three i cars. loved my car too. three four, three cars for the price of could be four so that is a deal give us them please so <laughs> give us i'll them. take one for the team guys i'll keep my car <laughs> that is what kind of car she do you have is a so mazda has a that's rack. what i want it's beautiful yeah, you should be looking Zerba. at the back queen. zoom yeah. zoom it's so fun oh, she's so good. fast right now what does maddie k have she has a what is it does she have like a, a honda Civic? Uh, is it a Honda like I Accord think. or a Civic? Both of those sound right. Let's go with one of those. Okay, that's, it has got to be a Honda car. <laughs> a Honda car. Okay. But anyway, that's what we've been looking into. Again, not on Facebook Marketplace as of late. Congratulations. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, people give us the car. Well, best wish- wishes with your um, your car hunting. Yeah, Ethan was like, you know, and I think by Christmas, I was like, ah, oh, Christmas. But I'm excited for Christmas, but also, like, it's a long ways away. So it I'll be walking close. to work. I do <laughs> think this is something that's fun to say. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, um, Olivia also works here full time. So, therefore, Olivia and I and her husband, Ethan, mm-hmm. um, all spend a lot of time a lot. together a lot, um a lot. and actually before they got married in the fall we had a conversation i sometimes jump in these conversations um no. and we we did have a conversation about them being a one car family we did and um ethan was not looking for he he was not wanting to be a one car family he uh-huh. said it would it would be worth it to be a, a two car family um although there are two of them and they do work at the same <laughs> place do. and they live about three minutes away we do. um but he was very adamant about being a one car or a two car family uh-huh. um and so now i do think that it's kind of fun to experiment and see who was right on that um and maybe if we are a one car family until christmas that will give us a really good idea of as to uh, if that is possible yeah. or not. My it, favorite part yeah. about this conversation is that you have now morphed into we and us language <laughs> as if you are, in fact, the third member of that relationship. She is in our family. <laughs> Emma is in our patches. family. <laughs> yes, Patches, that guy. I Remind me to show you a picture that my mom sent me after the podcast. He's like curled up in a little blanket. Oh, don't get I me started. Wait. I will weep. <gasps> um, speaking of dogs. Speaking of, oh, speaking of dogs. Things. So I need to fill you and I guess our viewers in <laughs> on, on this situation. Buckle up, so, viewers. Um, last night or yesterday afternoon, I mm-hmm. suppose, mm-hmm. I get a phone call from my boyfriend. His name is Tucker. Shout out. Um, yeah. And he also worked at camp. Whatever. But that's not the important part of the story. He calls me and he's like, hey, um, there is, uh, he like had just pulled into his house and he was like, there's a, a puppy in my garage. And I was like, what, 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 what are you talking about? What do you mean? What do you mean? And so he like starts FaceTiming me and shows me this puppy. And he's like, I got to figure out what's going on. I got to call my roommates. Bye. And I'm like, uh. so immediately I get in my car and drive from Conway to Little Rock, you know, because I, I need to understand fully what's going on. So I show up and just this sweet little <laughs> maybe 12 week old Aww. we think by now it's probably like a some kind of like pitbull jack terrier Aww. mix <laughs> like what she's mix. She, 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 she's got she's got a little bit of a beard going on <laughs> um but she is oh she is so sweet and she was so afraid it was like raining Aww. yesterday and so it turns out her root or his roommates were um like they left for work and and saw her there and like left out some food or whatever and she was Aww. still there whenever he got back um and so like he spent the night there last night i went back over today before i came here and um like went and gave her a bath and we we got her this little purple collar Stop. so um viewers if you're listening but mainly if your name is michael or margaret razor aka my parents um, <laughs> Um, I think that it's just worth mentioning that that dog probably needs a good, um, steady home. Okay. And I, in, you know, a new season of adulthood, yes. am, am really looking forward to, you know, increasing my responsibility. And I think that a poor, innocent, you know, helpless little dog would be a great place, Absolutely. great, great place to start. Um, Absolutely. So, so that's where we're at with, with the dog situation. Um, she's perfect. And... I want to find her name. I'm, I'm thinking th- these are my top contenders at the okay. moment. Okay. Um, I really like Birdie. I think that that is cute. Oh, cute. that is cute. Okay. It, it, it's okay if you don't like these. You're allowed to tell me. No, I like um, them. But I like Birdie. I also like Winnie. Oh. Um, uh-huh. I, here's the thing. I love Winnie for a child, but I think that it's uh, like, I, I don't think that I could pull off a Winnie for a child. Mm-hmm. I think that I could pull off a Winnie for a dog. 
Fair. You know? right. Would you pull off Birdie for a child? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Children, if your name is Birdie, pipe up in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All my Birdies out there <laughs> getting these comments. <laughs> um, but I also really like Scotty. It's the same. Oh, I love, I love Scotty for a child Ooh. also, but more for those are also cute. also there's you know no children coming in my future near right, right. <laughs> near yeah, yeah. um so <laughs> <thing at> time. <laughs> yeah. might as well give it to the dog so th those are my three top contenders at the moment um if you have any comment below <laughs> oh that's so cute i, I want her to be dogs. my dog really bad naming them they're so cute so patches needs a friend <gasps> patches does need a friend he always needs a friend except for <laughs> patches he likes friends. being an only child y'all <laughs> <laughs> i would say i would love it but it just, he goes to daycare every day. You know, he's really living his best life. And if we gave him a sibling, I feel like his quality of life would go down because he would have a friend to stay at the house with. He wouldn't get to go to daycare. Sure. But maybe a distant cousin that's with Julia. Maybe could a distant be good cousin, for though. So true. A birdie. <laughs> tell I you. think birdie has a distant cousin. Birdie is. actually is the cutest name that's really? my that's my vote that, that's to be really honest. too i, I like, like winnie though too because imagine imagine that puppy grown up with a pearl collar named oh winnie that would my be so gosh. cute pearl collar that would be crazy to be specific I, okay what's your vote personally i'm a scotty girl but okay. I know. Maybe I uh, maybe so whenever I, I think that at this point I'm just kind of manifesting that she's my dog. Like I'm speaking it yeah, into existence right. that's that good. like whenever whenever I do pick her name and you know she lives with me for the rest of her life. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. Um, maybe I'll just name her all three. You know. Oh, <laughs> my dog has a middle name. Oh. Yeah. Uh, one of my uh, roommates that I used to live with her. Uh, we both had Westies growing up, which is <gasps> if you don't know, it's like the Caesar dog food yeah. dog. Oh my gosh. Um, so cute. But growing up, her, she named hers um, Hannah. Named after Hannah Montana, and that was of her course. full legal name. Actually, <laughs> right, her full right. legal name was Hannah Montana Snowflake Danley. Um, right. So <laughs> shout, shout out to the Danley family also for their, <laughs> for their Hannah perfect. Montana dog. You know, you, you no give your dog as many names as you want. Have you ever thought about that? True. You can know. Oh. <laughs> I have <laughs> <laughs> as many names. The full legal name. Snowflake. That is just, yeah. that is a crazy thing to throw in there before the last name. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. What is your middle name? Rose. Oh, Julia Rose Fraser. That's cute. Thanks. You should That's name, my name. You should name your dog Rose. No. <laughs> After you. After I, you. I won't be doing that. Um, I thought it'd be so crazy to like name my dog like Olivia. <laughs> oh. So it'd be like <laughs> Olivia Jr. <laughs> That's a crazy thing. <laughs> Make it in the Someone's just like Olivia and like, no, I'm actually talking to the dog. No. Not you. <laughs> Olivia, come here. Come yeah, here, just Olivia. getting confused all the time. Uh, things will get really sticky around Olivia, there. Olivia, do you need to go potty? <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, do you need to go potty outside? <laughs> oh, that would be just so cute, though. You can't, you can't deny it. You just cannot deny it. The matching names? Yeah. Okay. Interesting to Whatever floats your boat. That. You know? That's great. Just kidding, guys. I like, I like. Birdie, <laughs> <laughs> don't name it Rose, okay? <laughs> I was just hey, kidding. Don't worry, just a joke. Just kidding. Don't fret. Or you can name her little like Stormy because she was in the rain. It's true, and that she's gray. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Stormy Cloud. That could be her middle name. Right. I've got a good idea. Can't deny it. I thought you were bringing oh. up another good idea. Oh, <laughs> you, you <laughs> had a no, good no, idea. Sorry, happened. We, we, we were waiting. We were waiting. I know. I was like, I was like do why you have another good idea? idea? <laughs> still, I was like, period. Like the sentence is over. Sorry, guys. What if we talked like we like we spelled? Like, what if it was like, yeah, that was a really good idea. Period. Like that so, y'all knew that this like scene. Like we, we included. Do say period. I mean, like, what if it was True. the way like we actually talked? Like we're talking to Siri. Like with a yeah. comma. I say oh comma, comma is big. I say question mark sometimes after my questions mm -hmm. yeah. just to emphasize. Like if I don't think that my voice went up enough at the end, right. I'll say <laughs> I don't think my voice went up enough at the end question mark. Mm -hmm. Just so that everyone knows. Great it's point. A question. Right. Great yeah. point. Great so. communication, honestly. Yeah. No, yeah. no such thing as over communication so here. Thank true. you. I. Fully agree. I bet as speech path, you really appreciate yes, that. Yes, we be <laughs> loving communication. Speech path. So glad. Pitch is everything, you know. So it's important. Tell us some speech pathy. Some speech pathy. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick with Christian's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out now. <laughs> um, basically, you have language or articulation kids. So language is like, if I ask them what is this, they know like what it is, but they don't know what I'm asking them. And then articulation what? is like. 
your S sound like. So we call it our silly snake sound. <laughs> That's so sure. pretty so cute. fun. Yeah. But I work with preschoolers and kindergartners. Actually, at Lakeside in Hot Springs. Fun That's fact. That's so Aww. fun. It is. It's really fun. So, so you enjoy it? Mm-hmm. I love it. Is it is so much fun. That's sweetie. Yeah, they're yeah. really cute. They were kind of bad today, but we Aww. loved them through it all. Yeah, the eclipse really got him, you know? The eclipse. <laughs> the eclipse oh my gosh, really got the him. Eclipse. Should <laughs> we talk thing? about the eclipse, y'all? That was the coolest thing I've ever experienced. I'm not kidding. I thought it was going to be, like, way overhyped. <laughs> yeah. It I was also thought so. way underhyped, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> I agree. I, I was sitting outside. We were watching, like, the, the live broadcast, like, mm-hmm. as it was coming across. So, like, so we knew what to expect, and we were, like, outside. Um, and we were watching this crowd of people, you know, five minutes ahead of us, mm-hmm. whatever. And everyone just like started cheering and whatever. And I was like, that's kind of crazy. And then it came, like it was time for us. And I like could not control the fact that I just started, I started clapping. I started clapping for the whole <laughs> time. She's like, yes, Woo! go God. That was so cool. Yes, <laughs> it was. It was so awesome. It was so cool. It was really cool. Um, my parents, shout out to the Mansers. My parents <laughs> live in like the San Antonio area. And then my brother and his wife, Sydney, were visiting their friends in Waco. And then I'm, in hot springs and so it's kind of like we're like a few hours away from each other all along so at one point my parents like facetimed us and they were totally dark at that point and then um everett my brother was like getting dark and then like 10 minutes later we were dark and so it was like so crazy crazy that like it didn't happen anywhere like at exactly the same time Mm -hmm. which still I'm not a science girl, if you can't tell. Um, <laughs> but it still just kind of blows my mind how, like, crazy and how, how like, few areas there was, like, the total eclipse mm-hmm. and, like, that we saw two stars. I was convinced that yeah. we were going to see stars, which I thought that I saw that on the internet, but my dad corrected me on my way home, and he said he told me that he, we would see stars. Oh, um, right, so sure. just to set that record straight, um, <laughs> my dad was like, you should be able to see stars. It's going to be that dark. Um, so... I was convinced and I had, we had a little cookout here and watched it. Um, And I had my entire co-working team convinced that we would see stars. And I was like, please, God, don't let me down. (laughs) (laughs) Emma was the one preaching from the rooftops. And then we saw two stars. Thank goodness. Two whole stars. At first we were like, look, there's a star. And then it was like, is that an airplane you think? (laughs) We don't know. But then when we saw the second one, it was like, okay, that's for sure a star. So it also had like a little sunset moment. Like if you looked at the other side, it yeah. was like a sunset. Yeah. It was really yes. cool. One of my favorite parts. Because it was for real. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't there like a partial solar eclipse in like 2017? Yes. I feel like yes. we watched it at my school and I was like, wow, this we is did like nothing. We did mine. Yeah. And then so I thought it was going to be the same, but it was like crazy. Yeah. yeah. Almost I re- completely dark. And I, I was remember like, what is going on? Like my family, we had gotten the little glasses mm-hmm. and like walked out on our front porch and was like, yeah, yeah. There it is, but it wasn't any, like, it didn't change, like, to darkness. Yeah, well, yeah. because it didn't even start to get darker, I feel like, until there was, like, barely left. Yeah, like, yes. I, I kept looking up and checking, I was like, half the sun is gone, and yeah. it's still just as bright out here. Yeah. yeah. Three quarters of the sun is gone, and I can't tell yeah. the difference. And then finally, it, like, it, it was like there was a filter, like, yeah. going on the world. Yeah, it like, was crazy. It, like, it wasn't normal dark, you know, like, yeah. dusky, kind yes. of, like. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. It was so bright, too. 10 out of 10, like, there were so recommend. many times I thought I was going to go blind. Like, you know, you just accidentally, the glasses slip, and you're like, oh! Oh, yes. My glasses Literally going to be blinded. <laughs> and then Emma just kept looking at the sun. She was like, look without your glasses. <laughs> well, it's like bad influence. Have Once we, it was total. Have you guys, have no, you but guys, before that. Oh. Have you guys never snuck a little peek at the sun before? <laughs> and just for a minute, but, like, it hurts. Yeah, it does. Like, it's and so I immediately, experience. like, it's like my, it, you know, it's my reflex. I, I just look away. Yeah, I, I wasn't like staring, staring into the heart <laughs> of the sun. Okay. But, <laughs> yeah, like, but just a quick little glance because the sun was a different color. It was not like the golden sun that we all know. It was like a more like, um, I don't know. Okay, picture like, you know, like on Christmas lights when you have like the soft white Christmas lights or mm-hmm. you can have like the LED Christmas lights. Yes. Right. The sun was giving LED Christmas lights. Oh, yeah. so she was shining. Yeah. So if y'all would have taken those glasses off, you guys could have known what I was talking about. Well, whenever you your blindness blind. sets in in two days, <laughs> you know. Her quilting days are over. Her eyes, don't blinded. say that. <laughs> Her eyes are gone. That is crazy. I had a little headache after it was over. Like, I don't know, the weirdness of, like, the sun, the night, and then the sun. And, like, yeah. right before it, like, fully went in, there was, like, a weird haze. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just felt like it was different as it was like setting but like the sun was still around mm-hmm. and then afterwards i was like sitting at my desk and i was like 
my head hurts. I was like, what is happening? Like my eyes like couldn't adjust. We did go back to like looking at a screen. So like I'm sure that wasn't as right. lovely for my brain. But it was. I was like, God, I have some ibuprofen. I'm not doing good. But it was so cool. I just yeah. could not believe it was for real. Like, you yeah. know, you hear people talking about it. Like people traveled from all over the world to come here. And it was like, which I don't know cool. how much I believe that. I did not notice any increase in traffic oh. or personhood. There was or... perhaps a decrease in traffic. So true. Yeah, I but, I think everybody was scared. Like I think yeah. everybody had posted and was like, "There's gonna be one million people. Populations going buy your up. milk and your eggs exactly. and your bread. Why do we do that when it when it snows? Like what? What? Uh, why are we? Why are we? Like why why are we only making yeah. breakfast when it snows? <laughs> so true. <laughs> yes. That's so true. Like buy some ground beef too. <laughs> I'm so confused by that. Don't forget about dinner and lunch. <laughs> Like, get your. Are we are we only sandwiches? anticipating making it to breakfast? Yeah, or like, yeah. You know, After do that, it up for one last meal. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, go get gas. Everybody's like at the gas station. Yeah. It's like, oh, are we getting ready for like a getaway too? We're, like, we're driving away from the moon. Yeah, hold on, it's like, chasing me. Let me go. Why are we getting gas and milk and eggs? Like, okay, so and toilet paper. So are we getting away or are we like stashing up at home? Like, we got like gallons of water. Yeah. It's funny. What if the water goes off? We're prepared for anything. Now. It was pretty crazy, though, in some places. Like, my roommate lives in Russellville, and people were renting out their front yards. Oh. Yeah. Like, Renting. they were paying to, like, camp on their front yards. And oh, my like, gosh. And camping along the interstate. Yeah, it was a crazy Did thing. Did people actually? Well, maybe we just yes. knew it. Yes, because, like, all these people were like, oh, we're going to get married at the eclipse. We're going to elope. And it was, like, a crazy thing. Like, there were so many people that got married in tiny Russellville. No Whoa. I know. Way. It was crazy. They did this whole documentary called Small Town Big Eclipse. <laughs> <gasps> it was quite interesting. You should look it up. Uh, what? <laughs> like, it's quite already strange. online? It's on YouTube, yeah. It's a crazy. Oh, there's some quick editors. Like little, yeah, I know. They're quick with it. That's that crazy. Well, the crazy. next one that's coming through in what, like, twenty years, is coming back through like Central Arkansas. That's crazy. Like, Why it's, are it's we going that okay. like <laughs> right, the first one went across I'll like this way. I'll have a yard by that point. But it's that coming. <laughs> it's coming through this way. But we're like the X point again. Yeah. So buy your milk. See you when we're. <laughs> see you when we're start forty. Start stocking up now. <laughs> start. Start today. I will say <laughs> like that just. But they don't do that with like tornado. Like there was a tornado that had came through here, mm -hmm. and like that was way worse. And like. Nobody, everybody like prepares for that kind of stuff, but like not really. Like they just, just say, like, down. go to your safe space. Mm -hmm. But then I would way rather like have prep for something like that <laughs> really than an have eclipse. Eggs for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need my milk and eggs <laughs> and water for that. I actually did need water because we lost power for like four days. We See, didn't and then the milk parents. goes bad. Like it's just not the a milk good did system. go bad because our power went out, and then it was like, don't open the fridge, don't open the fridge. Everything will melt. Then it was like. 24 hours later and it was like all right we got to do something about the fridge like it was like we haven't opened it but we got to get a generator up in here i mean we were like toting that thing we were plugging it in then letting it take breaks then plugging it in all right how's the fridge like we were checking up on Chaos. the fridge so we regretted buying milk <laughs> don't yeah. buy milk and eggs it, your power stick with the out. bread stick <laughs> stick with the bread we could have done more with bread and water do y'all freeze water. your bread yes you do well why well i saw do you no okay I also don't really have a kitchen, uh, so... Oh, that's so fair. I live in a dorm, but yeah. I'm yeah. not a bread freezer, personally. But I'm happy for you. I'm okay. not. Oh, you're not. <laughs> no, okay, you can be Liv. happy for her. Don't, don't are throw those like, accusations on me. Are you a bread freezer? No. I, I hate being I, the only one. <laughs> I'm not. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'll refrigerate my tortillas. Yeah, same. Your Why? tortillas? To make them last longer. Of yeah. all breads, tortillas? I, I live, get, like, crusty. I don't get a lot of bread, but I do love a tortilla. I love a taco. Um, yeah. And I live alone right now, and so I will refrigerate them so that I don't have to buy new tortillas, like, every single week because they go bad. Fair. They last longer if you refrigerate them. Mm. But Pro that's tip. life hack. Bread with the freezer, too? Like, I guess. Well, what maybe if you I want to make a sandwich like right now? It is the you know? worst. You gotta so sit there and let it dethaw. What happened? Like an uncrustable. Let me explain. Okay, sorry. Why, Do you guys? Sit on it? I tell people to sit on the uncrustables <laughs> when they're frozen. <laughs> no. If I've, I've ever told you that and you're a camper, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that is preposterous Comment behavior. Comment down below if Emma told you to sit on your sandwich. <laughs> Occasionally we would forget to take them out of the freezer. Yeah, that was the one experience I had with an Uncrustable where I had it and I bit into it and it was like more of an ice cream sandwich. And I was like, oh no, I would not be eating this. <laughs> I personally like the frozen I like Uncrustables. Them frozen too. Mm -mm. It's very refreshing and there's like a little crunch on the yes. peanut butter. Mm -mm. 
Okay, that's worse than me just putting my bread in the freezer. <laughs> listen, <laughs> okay. listen. Yeah, it sounds like you're kind of on her side, actually. <laughs> yeah. If you like a crunch in your bread. It's the peanut butter, not it's, the Yeah, bread. I don't want the bread to have a crunch. <laughs> but it does. You think it's the peanut butter, but it is the Queen. whole thing is frozen. <laughs> it's the peanut butter. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> you can squish it like a sponge. <laughs> have you ever heard of no. this thing? Hear me out. Crunchy peanut butter. Yeah. No, it's different. I That's like, like cr- whole peanuts in there. I like crunchy peanut butter. If I'm doing like peanut butter and apple, it's going to be crunchy peanut butter really? all day. Yeah. I didn't like crunchy peanut butter growing up, but I like it okay now. But not on a sandwich. Like I don't want that crunch in my sandwich. Peanut that butter and jelly sense. is supposed to be smooth. I don't. Fair. I don't make a peanut butter and jelly very much. Um, right. When I do, I just eat an uncrustable. Oh. Do you put yeah. Doritos in your like turkey sandwich? No, but I have heard of that. I put Lay's chips. I mean, just like a crunch or a chip of any kind. But yes. Do you? I assume. I love it at the lake, but only at the lake. Okay, oh. I. S- still stand by my um, statement that I haven't done it, but I've seen significantly more people do it at the lake, and I feel like it makes sense. I yeah. will never do it unless I'm at the lake, and then it's like immediately put some Doritos in my sandwich right now. Okay. So maybe wow. you should give it a try next time you're having lake day. All right. Well, I don't know when that will be, but can't wait. Somebody Sounds better like provide the Doritos. Plan a trip to the lake. <laughs> <laughs> that way. Like, so actually, now we're just going to plan a trip to the lake. So <laughs> no. thanks. Welcome. Follow along on our trip to the lake <laughs> documentary with Doritos and sandwiches, frozen bread, mm. <laughs> all the things. We might leave that, that one behind. Crew to follow us around. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> all right, now come this way. <laughs> come this way. Let's zoom in. Get the angle right here. I <laughs> I would give anything to have some version of a like a reality show following me around like that. Yeah. My my life is nowhere near interesting enough to do something yeah. like that. But I would give anything to have it done. One, because I think I would just like the attention. And two, yeah. because every once in a while, you know, you have funny moments. And you're the only one there to see it. And that is just devastating. Yeah. So true. I, yeah. <laughs> that brings me to a new question. <laughs> so with, uh-oh, I think I sat up a little. Um, I hurt myself differently. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, that okay. really threw me off. <laughs> but me and Emma have been talking lately. And we just cannot decide if we should, like, truly go all in on TikTok. Should we be influenced? By all is, definitely. She's not talking about like scrolling for a while every day. <laughs> <laughs> right, check, right. Check for that one, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but we are very strongly considering being influencers. I'm not sure if you guys heard the previous thing about our car situation. <laughs> um, yeah. Hers, current, mine, in a couple of months. <laughs> um, tops. <laughs> um, but we are always looking to receive PR. We are always looking to receive (laughs) positive comments and likes, um, attention, if you will, and maybe a brand trip here and there. Maybe Um, to the lake with the Doritos. (laughs) Sponsored by Doritos. (laughs) We got some PR from Doritos. Hey, I actually did get some PR, though. Shout out to Polaris. So when me and Ethan were taking... No, no, no. Oh, you know the side by sides? Like the they yes, side by side. Those are so yes. fun. So, no. <laughs> wait, please what did explain. You just ask? They sent you, you a side by side? No, if only. Okay, so like a t shirt. <laughs> but listen. Different. Okay. Merch of what if it was like a tiny, like toy one? Like, here's like, our that would be little model coming out. No, so when me and Ethan took engagement photos, we like went on into the field for one. And um, shout out to Gabe Matz. He's awesome. Took our pictures. But he was like, hey, hop on, like, the edge of this side-by-side, like, the back of it. Because there wasn't, like, a fence around. And so he wanted, like, one of those where, like, I was sitting and whatever. And we took it. And it just, like, really wasn't our vibe. But because, like, you know, it was really countries. Because there was, like, cows in the right. background. And we're <laughs> on the back of, like, Polaris. Like, Polaris right, right. is right there. And so I was like, it's cute. The, there was nothing wrong with the photo. I was just like, probably won't hang this into my house. And so it's just been sitting on my phone. Well, the other day I was like, I think Polaris needs this. So I told Emma, I was like, should I send this to Polaris? And she was like, yeah, I think you should. I always send stuff to people. Like, I think it's hilarious. But nobody's ever actually responded. Right. Like, you know, I DM famous people all the time. I'm like, I love hey, DM <laughs> famous people. Never gotten a response yeah, in my neither. life. Never. But I it's DM'd, so fun to be oh like, I goodness. love you. I used to DM memes to John Cena every single day for a year and never got a response. So <laughs> that I is so fake. John Cena, if you're watching this, that's fake. How that's dare really you? Rude. <laughs> and um, we can see you, and that's very disappointing. <laughs> um, <Are you? laughs> We're upset. <laughs> I have gotten um, responded to by somewhat famous well hear me out so somewhat a couple years ago for halloween me and um, one of my roommates dressed up as um loaded diaper aka yeah. 
the band from the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. Um, and so we posted our like picture, and I tagged um, the the main guy, not not the guy who plays Roderick, but the, oh. like the main guy. Um, I forget what his name is. Greg um, yes, I tagged not- Greg Hefley's um, a person. Real yes, real person. Um, <laughs> but not person. only not only did I just tag him in that picture, I also was able to tag him in a follow up picture, which was a picture of me and some of my other friends um, from I don't know, circa two thousand seven. Um, standing with him and also the actor um, who played Rally. No. Um, You've met at, both? I've met both and have a picture with them uh, at a meet and greet. Um, no <laughs> can way. we insert that photo right, right. now? <laughs> insert photo. It's on my Instagram. <laughs> um, and so I posted that like for Halloween. Ha ha, LOL, throwback. He reposted me no. on, on his story. No. Yes, he, he reposted our costume. That, there's nothing, and it's like the biggest moment ever. Yeah. But nobody else is, everybody's like, yeah, and you're like, that, it was awesome. That would change my, my life. Would turn. Around. I think I think I about it at least once a week. Trips a week. <laughs> at <laughs> least once a week. <laughs> that would and be the start to her career. That would take you off. When I was in college, um, shout out to all the Texans that will be the only ones that get this. Um, my two of my friends and I dressed up like H E B for Halloween. I've been. Um, so H E B for anyone that doesn't know is the greatest grocery store of all time. Sound off in the comments if you agree. Um, if you don't, you you probably don't know what you're talking about. Um, so H-E-B is just the best. And, um, we had like these like red t-shirts and then it like went, (laughs) red (laughs) t-shirts. Sorry. (laughs) Um, and then we had like the H-E-B logo, like going through the three of us. Um, and we tagged them in a photo and I'm a little bit older. Um, and so it was kind of before like brands were like going crazy with things, but they literally like responded and sent us like all these coupons and like I have H E B glasses and no like way. all of these like H like all this H E B swag and stuff now. Um, so shout out to H E B. I still love you guys more than anything. You guys are what I miss most about living in Texas. You are ahead of your oh. time, Queen. Thank yeah, you. that's and awesome. I'm a little bit older. I'm I'm not that old. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not. Just like. Just like slightly older. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> I'm really glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. No, I actually do think because you said before, like brands started going crazy. What an intelligent thing to do from a marketing perspective too, of like going in and like sponsoring influencers. Like mm-hmm. people know about. I wouldn't know what Swig was if influencers didn't repost it. Fair. But you we know do I mean? know what Swig is now. But we do, and thank you, everybody, who has reposted it. <laughs> but it is such a smart thing, though. Yeah. yeah. And I would like to do that for somebody's. So, <laughs> somebody's by the brand. time this podcast launches, I assume we will be having already have posted our Swig review on TikTok. So, yes. for sure. Everybody yeah. tune in. Perfect. Go give that a watch. <laughs> Absolutely. That'll be the first um, trial run to see if we can last as influencers. Yeah, or like take off because I'm not gonna do it if it's like five people like it. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> I'll probably take we'll it down. It. <laughs> we'll do it. I was about video to say. immediately. <laughs> There's at least four of us here, so like, so true. You're probably there. <laughs> I would get pretty close if it's no more than four. I'm out. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I'm looking for is that one thing that just takes just takes off, and then I can just join yeah, and I do agree. that one thing. You know, it would be a good life. I'm pretty sure. Agreed. I was trying to make a TikTok. <laughs> The other day, and Ethan was like, are you recording right now? He was like, I don't think I like you doing this. He was like, I have to ask every five seconds if you're recording or if you're doing whatever. <laughs> and he was like, and I'm just trying to exist. <laughs> and I was like, you'd have to get used to it if I was making a ton of money on TikTok. That's so, so true. true. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he would get over it pretty quickly. I bet he would. But 20 people? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, you got to start somewhere. Uh, you gotta start somewhere. Or so consistently true. only have 20 people like my stuff. Or that. <laughs> One of those. Yeah. Um, I think I'm really bad at the, um, like, captions of TikTok and, like, the hashtags and stuff. Because everybody, like, I don't know. I always see so many of those at the bottom. And I just, no. One or two times I've posted a TikTok. It's been, I like, hate. I hate them, though. It makes me feel so. It makes uh, me feel yeah. like they're trying too hard. Yeah. But they give me some organic famous. content. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. I actually once was not an influencer, but I do believe I was well on my way to being there. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Real ones will know 
that I was once known as the TikTok <laughs> Maxinista. Um, and this this is embarrassing to talk about. Emma, what? <laughs> and also, like, this is coming from a very vulnerable state um, that I'm even sharing this. Like, this is such a great girl talk that I'm even breaking up. Wow. Oh. How, what a safe place but for you. a few years back, I was really dedicated to becoming an influencer. And I was, you know, you're supposed to find your niche. That's what, like, sure. any videos mm-hmm. that you look right. up, like, Right. How on earth do I become an influencer? Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> um, everything's going to say, like, you have to find your niche. Mm-hmm. Um, so my niche was the fact that literally every single day after work, I would stop by TJ Maxx on the way home. Oh. And I was like, why don't I just start filming myself here? Um, so I did. Um, <laughs> and I did get up to 13,000 followers. Shut your mouth. Um, yeah, she did. All of them were probably over the age of forty to fifty. <laughs> right, right. Um, and no one was really audience. like the demographic <laughs> I was looking for. Um, TJ Maxx did not ever reach out with like a brand trip option <laughs> for me. Right, right. Well, why or would they? Now. You just quit. Um, and I kept. Let's go right I, now. I kept it going for about a month, um, and then I quit because I got kind of embarrassed. Um, <laughs> but I do regret deleting that. Well, actually, yeah. I don't know if I deleted the account or not, but I do regret stop being she posting. She might be out there account. somewhere. <laughs> um, but if you guys wanted to go give that a like, I think that I still have um, a TikTok creator fund set up there. So, <laughs> How much money did you make? Nothing. Oh, like actually zero? But, but it, Yeah, but as soon as oh. you like hit 10K, you can like create, you can set up the creator fund. At least that's how it used to be. So you hit 10K and then didn't keep posting? Yeah, because I got bored. I like to hobby jump. So, so they <laughs> said, <laughs> oh, wow, you're, <laughs> they said, wow, you're kind of good at this. We will give you money. And you said, Next. and left? Well, I kept it going for a month. Like, I hit 10K in, like, like overnight. And then oh. I, like, oh. only got... Sorry, home. sorry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> then how did you not make any money? I'm so confused. <laughs> so once you hit it, you have to, like, hit other benchmarks to actually uh, get anything. Oh. So, and those benchmarks are high. Okay. It's just like you can sign up. I'm sorry for my judgmental tone. Yeah. I think that you should pick it back up. I would watch. I'll like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Yeah. And occasionally people would comment that like I knew. And every time someone that I knew would comment, I was like. <laughs> like it's it's always like, better if it's strangers. I will not. Oh, speaking of strangers commenting. Sorry, I'll get off this really soon. Um, But one time a, a woman commented. This is when I had like really long hair. Rest in peace. The fire hair. <laughs> um, so fun fact, my hair did catch on fire at Turkey. Um, but yeah. before that, um, I, I had really long hair before, before that, this was like a while ago. And, um, I, I know you can't tell cause I've got this slick back going today, but I, like, <laughs> honestly, like I, I do have good hair. Um, but this she woman swears. commented right. on one of my videos and was like, your hair is so beautiful. Please check with me before you cut it. <gasps> And I said, that is crazy. <laughs> what does that mean? That is Check literally the craziest thing to say. But then I did cut it off because I kind of do like a long hair, short hair kind of thing. Like sure. Once it gets long, I just Naturally. chop it off right. and then grow it back out immediately. Um, so when I did cut my hair, the caption on my photo was, so sorry to the lady on TikTok that I did not check with you. <laughs> so, what well, does that even mean? Yeah. I don't know. Like she wanted, like, did she want to buy it? I did- don't she wanted so. it that long? She, she wanted to give you her approval. I, I think it was like an approval, like wow, you've got such great hair, you're not allowed to cut it, like right, that kind of thing. Just like a, a jokey, like wow, oh. I'm like so obsessed with you, you're the coolest, most beautiful person I've ever seen. Oh, is that what? Wow, wow. <laughs> you are really good at reading in between the lines. I did not pick that up. But. I wish I was you. I think you're so amazing. You're my hero. Um, that's what I was assuming mm-hmm. that was coming. And you from just that broke moment. her heart and cut your hair, and then unfortunately, broke. chopped her off. So, so if that's what you read between the lines of the comment, what do you think she would have to say to you now that you have gone on without her approval? I would just like to tell her that I'm sorry, <laughs> um, and um, I don't want to know what she has to say. <laughs> no further comments. <laughs> She'd probably not have happy things to say. Emma, that is crazy. Thank you. She's got fans. She's People are wild. Then I deleted that account. <laughs> she <laughs> so deleted she's got it. Fans. my short hair. <laughs> and then doesn't do it. Emma, that is crazy. 13,000 followers. That is crazy. And then you just said, bye. There's people with like 13 million followers. Yeah, but like we know you. We know like, you. We know you. You're like real. We're seeing the person. same room as you. I feel honored now. Yeah. Well, you would. Too bad you crisped your hair. 
It's yeah. a sad day. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Too bad you crisped your hair. That is really crazy. I did remember, too, Ike, you went on a, was it a mission strip? Mm-hmm, I did. Okay, wait, I want to hear about that. Okay, um. Okay. Did you do it through the school? No, so okay. it was Washita, and then there's a college across the street called Henderson. Yeah. It was Washita and Henderson students, but it wasn't affiliated with our school. Okay. It was through the organization Filter of Hope, and they took a trip from Arkansas last yeah. year, and so they decided to take some Washtenaw people. So I got asked to be a student leader, so I was really excited. It's like so fun. Yeah, so I got to recruit. I was feeling what? so official. Yes, all the That's things. So, cool. so many little lunch dates with everyone. <laughs> and then we went to the Porta Plata in Dominican Republic, and we installed water filters. Whoa. That's so nice. cool. Yes. And then we used it as a tool to share the gospel. That's so it was awesome. really fun. That yes. is so cool. And then we got stuck. And the Dominican. Actually, this is a great thing to talk about. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. So I've never had airport problems in my entire life. Like right. probably like a delayed thirty minute moment. Right. I got stuck in the Dominican Republic for four extra days. <gasps> yeah, it was a crazy thing. <laughs> that, okay, I'm really glad we Why? are yeah. talking about this. Okay, so we went to the airport to like leave, and it was on a Saturday, and we were at Santiago Airport in yeah. the Dominican Republic, and it was outside, and it was really hot, and they were like, "Oh, so our flights keep getting delayed to Miami." So you guys should probably pack like some extra clothes and you're like carry on whatever. So yeah, I did that. Great. And then they're like, okay, so actually we're not leaving because our flight was the only one that got canceled what? out of everything that entire day. Yeah. Do you know what? Like, did they say? They what said the weather, issue? but there was another plane that was leaving to go to Miami like 10 minutes after ours. So and they're it still went. So they lied. Okay. Yeah. So then we were hashtag stranded <laughs> in the DR. It was a crazy <laughs> thing. Felt like I was on Survivors, like Alvin the Chipmunks moment. <laughs> it was a crazy Shipwrecked. thing. <laughs> Shipwrecked, literally. Oh, so my gosh. yeah. But then at that point, they had another university coming in and staying. So like we were kind of like on our own. Whoa. It was a crazy thing. Yeah. So we stayed in like this apartment type thing, which was actually really nice. Okay. And then we just got to hang out on the beach for the last four days because we didn't have, like, translators or anybody to actually do ministry. So okay. we just got to hang out with this super fun group of people that love Jesus, and it was so much fun. Dang. Fun. Yeah. I learned how to salsa dance on the beach. <gasps> yeah, they picked me and my best friend and said we were the best ones. We were kind of feeling ourselves. <laughs> it was great. It was can my you, uh, can you main teach character us? moment. Oh, maybe after the podcast you hit me up. <laughs> oh, okay. If we were on a couch right now, you would be standing. I would be standing out so salsa <laughs> for you. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Wait, that's so cool. Yeah. So how many days were you there before you were stuck? <laughs> I was there seven before wow, okay. and then four. Yeah, so I had to miss school and chapel. Oh. If you know anything about Washita, we get four <laughs> skips for chapel, and also, I, in fact, have a fifth skip now. <gasps> so yeah. Surely that's excuse, though. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's going to be fine. They'll figure it out. But yeah. Right, so everybody thing. in the midst of sending your um, cars and your and your <laughs> yeah, sponsorships, send I EK want. some tuition money. <laughs> yeah, She's really. got an extra semester. <laughs> so true. No, I actually you're not you don't have to go your senior year second semester, so now I just have to go. But it's okay. The whole semester? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. That's kind of like brutal. Yeah, like, it's not a crazy just, thing. Like, hey, make up one. Yeah, it's brutal. But you know That's nutty. it is what it is. It was a crazy thing. That is crazy. Hey, Juju? you'll have so much fun. Yeah, I will. It's going to be a blast. That is crazy. Juju, you traveled the world, too. Did you ever get stuck I across did a the little world? bit of, of international yeah. traveling. Um, I spent uh, three months in September in Italy. I went and worked as an au pair, so like was nanny for this so family. Cool. Um, yeah, we had a we had a few um, transportation mishaps. Nothing airplane-wise, thank right. goodness. Um, you know, a, a couple of delays and stuff, right. but, but n nothing... Nothing to fret about. Um, however, I learned very quickly that I need to be in a place where I can take my car. Um, mm. Public transportation does not agree with me. Okay. Um, I already am very directionally challenged, and so that was quite the predicament there. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, you know, I did a lot of getting on the wrong direction train, thinking yeah. that I was going one way, and then oh, all of a sudden I'm going backwards. <laughs> so that was awesome. Right. Um, Google Maps did not know what to do in yeah. those situations. So um, Google developers, please get on that for, <laughs> um, for those of us Trans, who struggle. <laughs> um, but specifically, one of my weekends, um, I went to Cinque Terre, um, which is kind of like, it looks like the Amalfi Coast, but it's on the other side of Italy. Uh -huh. um, really, really beautiful. I traveled there with one of my au pair friends that I had made, like was super excited. That's and so, so fun. she and I, we made it to the Milan train station. Like mm -hmm. that's about where we were living. Yeah. Um, I was like right outside of Milan. And so we get there and 
I already am struggling to get to the big train station because I have to take the little train stations to get yeah. to the big train station. And so I've taken the wrong one already. Yeah. I'm backwards. I didn't get off work as early as I thought I was going to. I'm running late. I'm like, we're going to miss our train. She's like texting me and directing me as she's on a different train trying to get right. there. Like it, chaos. So whatever, I finally make it to the thing. We don't know which platform our train's on. And so we don't even know where we're supposed to go. And so we're running around. She looks at the board and she figures it out. We haven't seen each other at this point. So she figures out what platform it's on. And we, we're like, oh, my gosh, okay, let's go. And whatever. She, I think I actually made it there first. And so I'm running in and she sees me. I'm, like, wearing these bright orange pants. <laughs> <laughs> Necessary right, detail right, of the story. Sure. Um, as if the hair wasn't enough, I needed to match right, the pants. For sure. Um, and so I'm running. And I watched them close the door <gasps> and pull off. <gasps> no. And I'm just standing there like, like out, completely out of breath backpack like I'm running with a backpack no, you know you worst. know the humiliation of running with a backpack yeah, it's really it's embarrassing flop, 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 flop. like I, I am so tragically Hunched American back. in this moment <laughs> and, and I'm just I'm just standing there in defeat and she like walks up next to me and I was like what? Like we we went and we ate some McDonald's and we um stowed away on a different train and um it was fine we didn't we didn't get a fine we made it we like caught up to the next connecting train we we're supposed to and like wow. everything was peachy keen after that um except for once we did get there um we our Airbnb was like up on this mountain thing and we thought that it was gonna be like a cute little hike whatever I was still wearing you know the orange pants I was right. also wearing my um Birkenstock clogs my oh. favorite shoes that I own yeah. um we did in fact do a thousand feet of incline to. <gasps> To get up there on foot. Um, the sun was setting. It was terrible. Um, our hopes were also setting. And for a moment, I thought that my life was setting, but it didn't. Um, so that was fortunate. We made it there. We did not go back down. Um, so it was a fun and interesting time. I have learned that I can do anything that I set my mind yeah. to. So true. Thank you very especially much. Especially in clogs. Yes, especially in clogs. Shout out Birkenstocks. Shout yeah. out Birkenstocks. If I that, would love that PR. That is a sponsorship that uh, I would uh, send okay. it my way. Yeah. Send it my way. I have to buy some new ones on Amazon because I wear the same ones every day. I don't have them on or I would put my foot on this table right now. Right. But oh, I love them. Oh, darn. Uh, <laughs> what <laughs> a bummer <laughs> that one is. <laughs> yeah, I regret saying that out loud. But that's really crazy. Yeah, it, it was crazy. Um, It was horrifying. Yeah. But then it was awesome and it was yeah. fun and it was great. And I'm so thankful that I, you know, got to, what was got to go and do that. What was your favorite part across the world? I think that Venice was my favorite place that I traveled. Um, oh. You know, the canals yeah. and, and all of that there. It's just, it's unlike any other place, I mean, quite literally in the yeah. whole entire world because it's like, you know, the, the roads are yeah. water. Um, <laughs> but, oh my gosh, it was so cool. My car parents came and visited. Oh, um, and so we, I got to meet them there yeah. uh, one weekend. And it was so cool. It was so beautiful. There's also like no, you don't realize how much noise pollution there is, like mm. just anywhere, uh -huh. like of, of cars and just human, like, yeah. <laughs> the traffic of human. <laughs> human. And human. Oh. And in, human. In, in human form. Like people <laughs> walking. Um, and so to be like that far away from mm -hmm. all the cars and stuff, like it's just so quiet. That's cool. It was so crazy. Um, it was really, really beautiful. 10 out of 10. Would that's recommend. Cool. Was um, it peaceful? Cause very. Peaceful. That's cool. Very. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Can I ask in Venice? Because there's a lot of water, does it have the same vibe as, like, the Doritos on the sandwich as the lake does? <laughs> you no. Know, um, Doritos are a little bit harder to come by, you know, across right, the, right. I don't For know sure. if that's still across the pond or if that's just the UK. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can neither confirm nor deny. It also okay. was freezing, so oh, I right, did right. not. Really? I did not desire, um, you know, a, a crunchy sandwich in that moment, <laughs> <laughs> or a dip in the in the mix. <laughs> no, no, neither neither of those things. That is so crazy. Yeah, but but it was awesome. It was really. Were you really sad great. to leave? I was so sad to leave. I the little boy I was taking care of. He was three years old ish. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so sad because I know that he's not going to remember me. And like my sweet host dad, he was like, Oh no, he'll remember you. And I was like, you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> Stop Thank lying you. to me. Thank you. Your sentiment is nice, yeah. but you are wrong. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was crazy. That it was crazy, crazy, crazy. It was awesome. Wow. I guess, were you with a group? Like you didn't go outside a group or adventure or get lost? Well, or? I, I actually did get lost one time, but it of was course. okay. <laughs> By yourself? The, yeah. There was a what? girl that was trying to get up a hill in a wheelchair, and so I pushed her up there, and then she was like, oh, I need to go to the hospital. So I took her to the hospital, but the hospital was, in fact, a 15-minute walk from my group. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to get my friend to drop a pin, and I had to venture back through the markets By of yourself. the Dominican Republic. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, okay. that's a crazy thing. So to get to the hospital, you also ventured through the de- through the <laughs> market, right? right. right. We didn't Pushing talk about the a woman in a wheelchair. <laughs> yes. We didn't talk about the first time. Yes. You think coming what? back was crazy? Wrong. Yes. <laughs> It was a crazy experience. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was Did you crazy. just like drop her off? Like yeah, just, I just like... I just gave her a little see you later, girl, and then I just <gasps> walked back. Her mom met her there. Uh, she was how like, old was she? I thought she this was, was an 22, person. but she was in a wheelchair. So yeah. Oh, <gasps> that happened to me the other day. I was in a wheelchair. I need to tell this story. What? Okay. <laughs> You knew this. I'm oh, sorry. You know what you're talking about? Do you know? I don't know. No. Um, anyway, so <laughs> like, like, picture. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was I, not I was like that. like, Juju in the Dominican in a wheelchair. <laughs> I, I actually yes, listened to the to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> actually, so, no, <laughs> so picture this, crazy. all right? Um, a key piece of information here. I am terrified of needles, of blood, of, of all of the things. Right. Don't do well with them. Yeah. Hate them. So I go in, I, I like schedule myself this appointment because like I'm supposed to be an adult now. And um, I haven't had a checkup or been to the doctor in literal years. And I was yeah. like, I just want to make sure that everything's fine. True. And so I go in and like on the phone, they, they, they're like, so like, do you want to do blood work? And I was like, yes, I would, <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> um, because like, what else are they supposed to do? Like, I, I don't know, yeah. do my reflex <laughs> test. Yeah. Like, I, you know, um, and so I like know going in that I'm going to have to do this. They're like, don't like come in fasted since it's going to be in the morning anyway. Like, don't eat anything. And I was like, okay, fine. So I get there and everything's good. Great. Whatever. The lady's talking to me. And I was like, hey, just so you know, mm-hmm. I hate this. Yeah. Um, I am very afraid right now. I'm not going to like fight you or anything. I'm not going to like swing, <laughs> swing hey, on you. you. I'm not that kind of whatever. And she's like, are you like a fainter? And I was like, no, no, I'm fine. Like that, nothing like that. I just am very afraid. Like, please be careful. And she was like, okay, like, I, I got you, hun. Like, whatever. She mm-hmm. was so sweet. Um, and so we finish up. I, like, don't look at it, you know. I mm-hmm. uh, don't see any of the any of the things that are going on. And she's like, here's your paper. You can go up to the front. Go pay. And I was like, thank goodness it's over. Like, we're moving on. Whatever. So I go, and I'm standing. I'm waiting in this line um, to, uh, you know, pay. There's, like, two mm-hmm. people in front of me. And I start to feel a little bit dizzy. But, uh, again, like, I, I don't pass out. I, yeah. I, I really, really was like, it's... It's a mental thing. Like, I, I'm so freaked out about this needle and whatever. Yeah. Like, it's it's just making me feel a little bit queasy. And so I remember I grabbed onto the wall. And actually, I was looking at a text with the two of you. <laughs> actually, <laughs> about, this, uh, it about was the this scheduling podcast. appointment for this podcast. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I, like, put my hand on the wall. And the next thing I knew it, my feet were in the air. And there were people standing <laughs> over me being like, Julia, Julia, are you are you okay? And I, like, I'm staring up at this nurse. And I was like, uh, uh, like, freaking out my a woman's holding my feet um, <laughs> and so the, yeah, she was like she was like you're, she was like you're fine um you, you just passed out so so we're just gonna kind of give you a second to to kind of come to and there's like a woman standing up above mm-hmm. like i can't see her but she's talking mm-hmm. like to somebody else and she was like it's a lot of blood <gasps> and i was like oh my god like, i'm dying <laughs> <laughs> and so they this is where the wheelchair comes in they're like right. okay, we're gonna mm-hmm. like stand you up and they put me in a wheelchair and as i'm getting in the wheelchair there is drops and a puddle of blood no. from my head no i stood oh. there and fell like a something that falls really straight i don't i don't know what what the example is but it's just like straight back on that like tile floor like school <gasps> doctor's office like no. whatever no straight back like i felt like a pencil um <laughs> but you know sideways um right. and so was in fact supposed to get staples in my head but i didn't i'm pretty sure that i just kind of um gaslighted them into being like oh, i don't need those um <laughs> because i was so afraid i had to leave and then come back for them to hypothetically give me the staples and you know in the process of my dad telling me that we were going to go back and do that you know i Profusely started crying right. because, uh, you know, I don't want to right. have staples in my right. head. Yeah. Um, but they didn't put them in. And right. now I am like 95% healed. Um, went and got a CT scan for the okay. first time. What wow. an experience. Um, no internal bleeding. So well, let's that's go. a win. There we go. That's a win. Um, so, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> yes. like hand clap thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, that was my experience in a wheelchair. Thank you for not being the one to push me. That yes. is all. <laughs> That is crazy. It was crazy. Emma, do you have any fun pass out experiences? I 
it? I don't. I don't think so. All right, next. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sure um, don't. So. So I actually <laughs> do have a history of passing out. <laughs> Um, most it's places true. that you can think of in this world, I have passed out. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> including the Legacy Dinner. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, you can't so be there. I, am, I have passed out <laughs> at Brook Hill, I think, four or five times. Um, most of the time, <laughs> I was like, like breaking my ankle. I was about right, to say, Fun Swim Hill really is my favorite one. <laughs> slamming my finger in the door. Or things like that. My very first year ever, my first year and first week ever on All Summer Staff, I um, woke my first day, first breakfast. No. <laughs> um, I, I'm in the kitchen. Um, and I've always been. Um, so I was supposed to wake my JCs up at like 6.10. Welcome up at 7.10. Awesome. Um, <laughs> so um, that is we... Crazy missed breakfast and we were serving it and I had like no food in me at all and I'm running back inside to the kitchen and slammed my finger in the door and was like oh no <laughs> I'm gonna pass out because I have passed out a lot before so I knew it so I just like ran behind the back counter and just laid there just a little <laughs> yeah that was time number one time number two at camp I was in the kitchen and used to we would teach one activity a day now they don't teach any because of this. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, but um, I was teaching my third activity of the day because we had a few people that were out that day or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm teaching um, hodgepodge, and we are going down to do, I don't know, capture the flag or something. I don't exactly sure. remember what we were doing because I didn't finish. Um, so I'm like, spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> I'm walking this group, this giant group of campers <laughs> down with me and a couple of JCs. Um, and all of a sudden, bad news, there was in fact a little hole on Fun Swim Hill that was just big enough for my foot to step into and my ankle went like um, and I heard it and immediately was like <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. Luckily, my knight in shiny armor was at Fun Swim and um <laughs> Jackson Delmer, you guys may know him. Um, he was a JC at Fun Swim with one of my best friends in the whole world, Natty Lechtenberg Stewart, was senior counseling that. Saw someone go down on the hill and said, Jackson, can you go check on that person that is laying on Fun Swim Hill? And he did. He, he, he ran up the hill to wow. check on me. Wow. Saw wow. that it was That's me. A tough run. Yeah. Assumed I was okay. And what did he do? He galloped back down the Fun Swim. Oh. I am not going to say he walked or ran or anything. What? He straight up. Oh, that's not real. Um, yes. So I know what you mean, but if you think <laughs> I'm picturing horse style gallop <laughs> on all fours. <laughs> and I know that it's wrong, but that is I what know. came to mind. You guys can keep that in your minds. So the last time that I passed out at Brook Hill, and hopefully the last time ever, but I'm just assuming it won't be. Um, <laughs> So the last time was at the Legacy Dinner, which was um, this past October. Mm -hmm. um, we were honoring Hedy Lou Brooks, the founder of Brook Hill. For the first time ever, we were taking time to, like, seriously come together as, like, the history. Like, everyone that's, like, everyone that's ever been to Brook Hill yeah, was invited. Right. Like, it was just this huge time to honor her. Yeah. Um, we had, like, done all these different, like, videos and songs and things like that and, like, speeches throughout the night. And finally, she got up and was able to speak. And about ten minutes into her <laughs> speaking, wow. I started feeling as if I was going to pass out. And I was just sitting at my table eating dinner. Um, and I was like, <laughs> what do I do? Because I was like, we were on the end, like end of the table, but like there weren't. It, it was in the EC, and there were, I don't even know how many tables, but, like, it would have been obvious, like, if I went over and, like, I don't know, like, sat against a wall or something <laughs> like that, um, that, like, something was up, and I, the the last thing, the absolute last thing that I wanted to do was draw attention to myself. <laughs> um, even escort herself out of the So, building. I was looking around my table, and um, someone had, like, a glass of water there, and I was like, I need the water. <laughs> and, like, no one knows what's going on at this point, so I'm like... 
Um, <laughs> and so I like chug this water, not feeling any better. I can tell that Hetty is wrapping up her speech because I don't remember who it was, but someone like went up on stage. I was like playing, like mm-hmm. picking up a, a guitar mm-hmm. ready to play. And I was like, this is perfect. She's about to invite, like we're about to be invited to stand up. When we stand up, I will escort myself to the side and everything will be good. <laughs> Everything. That is the last thing I remember. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Apparently, I did stand up and immediately <laughs> fell down. Um, luckily, not Julia style. <laughs> um, I did kind of, not so gracefully, fall all the way to the ground. Luckily, there was a table to help catch my fall. Unfortunately, there was someone at the table that also. <laughs> uh, we can cut that. Uh, but in a story. Um, my parents were there because they were Brooke Hillers too. And um, they also know that I passed out. My friends at the table with me um, knew that I passed out, but like didn't really know how serious it was. So they like called my parents over. Um, and my parents thought that it was only the older woman that fell because oh. that, that had fallen. No one knew that I started this <laughs> Um, and so my, I was like, yeah, I'm no, I'm go- y'all don't need me over there. Y'all don't need me thinking that I was not down. And then finally they did see that I was down. And every person that has, um, that signs an email with doctor like, was at the table at my side. And I finally woke up in about a couple of minutes. I don't know. And like 18 people are taking my pulse. Um, and they're like fanning me off. Someone laid a jacket over me because I was wearing a dress. Um, and, and, was anyone holding your feet? And, uh, <laughs> no feet holders. That's probably what happened. Um, but I was like, oh no, you guys, please like carry on, carry on. Carry like, on. please, like, go, don't go, worry about me, guys. On. Go enjoy this night. Like, I don't want you guys to focus on me. Please focus on Hetty. And they're like, yeah, so they actually did stop this event for you. <laughs> and I was like, did you hear the prayer? Awesome. Were you awake for the prayer? No. Awake. We, we took time. Were you conscious for the prayer? <laughs> no, no, no. We took time out of our night to say a prayer for the fallen. <laughs> You didn't hear about that. Were you not at the dinner? Girl, I was she in Italy. Was in Italy. <laughs> I'm Luckily, well Dawson time. was next to me. <laughs> Thank God Dawson was there to laugh at you. Dawson was no, not so much so my knight in shining armor. We, we were like, he was, was, there was no galloping. <laughs> no galloping. He actually did save you. No, so you had you'd fallen, and all of a sudden, we're at another table. Like, you can't see anything. And, like, they start stopping everything, and I was like, what has happened? And then somebody gets on the stage and was like, um, let's... <laughs> <laughs> hey, every, knowing NC makes it even richer. But I was just like, what is happening? And then all of a sudden, Ethan, somebody walks over and was like, hey, we need you to go outside, get a side by side, come over to this other door. We're escorting somebody to an ambulance. And so, Not like, I. Ethan, <laughs> Ethan runs out of the room. And so, like, from my perspective, I'm like, what is happening? Okay, has somebody, like, died? Like, what's going on? Like, somebody's down. <laughs> and so, somebody comes on the stage and is like, all right, you guys, everything seems to be okay. Um, I really do think we just need to take time out of our night just to say a quick prayer for these people. And we stop everything, and it's like, dear God, thank you so much for this night. I pray right now for the two people laying on the floor. And I was like, there's two. <laughs> two people are on the ground. And then all of a sudden, word starts flooding this way. <laughs> And my man's are passed out. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, no way. And then all of a sudden, like, the guy on the guitar just kind of, like, picks it up a little. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Ethan comes back and was like, apparently I didn't need to escort anybody. Everything's fine. Like, the uh, older woman was escorted, but I don't think by side by side she was okay. Like, able to walk. But I didn't hear that until then. And I was like, it was Emma. Emma <laughs> passed out. And so then it was like, did it? I thought y'all had like simultaneously passed out. I didn't know that I did you pick had that for a little while and too. And then finally, about twenty minutes after too. I passed out, um, I looked over and saw <laughs> Neely, Maddie, and my dad <laughs> laughing really hard. And I was like, "What's going on? What made the three of you guys best friends?" And it was the fact that <laughs> it was my passing out that caused the sweet dear older woman to hit the floor as well. Right. A domino effect, if you will. <laughs> I, I would to start it. <laughs> like to go back to the moment when you're on the hill passed out. What did you do with your group of uh, campers? Thank you for asking that because I also want to know the answer. Mm, yes. Um, I do... <laughs> I don't really remember exactly <laughs> what, what happened, you did but I do know that Kendall Greer took the group. 
Okay. So I, that was a year that I think that was like the first year that we had three first aid people. Okay. And I, to my knowledge, um, Kenny G did take the activity. And I remember Ibby Dean coming to my actual rescue. Um, <laughs> right. Like, Tell being back me. down the hill. Um, yes. Yeah. So. Okay. That's good. Because I was just like, the whole story, I was like, okay, so are the campers all just like. Gathered around. Gathered around and, like, Jackson runs up and is, like, and, like, runs back down. <laughs> no, and the, the campers camp- did keep walking. <laughs> oh. Okay, so. I, I was <laughs> sitting on the hill. Sitting <laughs> the campers down. Oh, okay. I, so you do remember this part. I, I am not sure if we have a protocol for that. That might be something to add. <laughs> That's to good. I'll training. write that down. Um, but I didn't really know what to do, so I said, go. Just keep going. And I was like. <laughs> I can't remember who the JCs were, but I told one of the JCs, I was like, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to go on, girl. You're going to have to go on without me. <laughs> Listen, that's crazy because that's the route we take. We did take for nature in the past. We did like a little hike and we would like circle. So we'd go by the big tree. Um, we, well, we'd start off by like the playground and then we'd go down to that like ravine and we'd walk this way and then like around fun swim and go down that bank and then right by like where beach volleyball is now we then we'd start our hike up there and i would make i would make everybody stop this was so fun i would make everybody stop and lie on the ground and watch the clouds been there done that and (laughs) we and i now that i'm thinking of it what an emma moment i really wish i had said now imagine your ankles broken (laughs) (laughs) that is crazy i also um did actually that was on a Thursday and I don't know if I can say this or not. I <laughs> that was week four and it was going to be my last time ever to be in crucifixion and I refused to not. So I did go up the entire and that was when sure. we started at the fun swim changing room. Awesome. And I did go up the entire hill with real tears streaming down <laughs> my face. Um with the Molly English arm in arm literally as my Crazy. crutch up the hill that night. Awesome. Yeah. That is crazy. Yes. Wow. So what a story. What time. great acting, you know? You. Yeah. You yeah. really full sent it then. Okay. You, you call me method. <laughs> 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 well, you were saying earlier that um, you know, Jackson ran up the hill to you. And I galloped back. <laughs> <laughs> and don't worry, I have not forgotten the gallop. Well, unfortunately won't be forgetting that one for a, a moment. Yeah. Um <laughs> But I was thinking on the way up here um, about two Olympicses ago um, when I was graced with the honor and um, <clears throat> demise of being selected to run yeah. the flags <gasps> yeah. up said Fun Swim Hill. Um, yeah. Huge honor. And, and I, yes. I, I, I am, actually is I really am cool. not um, discounting that one one bit. Yeah. Um, it was awesome. It was great. Um, and I was um, the first girl who's ever gotten to do really that. Cool. Um, unfortunately, I might be the last girl that ever gets <laughs> to do that as well. Um, you can speak with your father about that one. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that he loves to make fun of the video <laughs> following us as I trail behind Tucker and Dawson <laughs> with the American flag. Whoa. Yeah. In my defense, their legs are much longer than mine. I was about and to say. also, they are probably a bit stronger than me. Yeah. Um, That is crazy. It was quite the experience. Um, I I have never done it again and will never do it again. Um, But it was a moment. I don't know how you did that. I ran the flags last year with Will and Aiden, and we only, like, there was flat ground. Like, I had to run. I was at at the very start. And so, like, they shoot the guns, and it's like, (laughs) and I was the American flag. You're in the middle, right? Okay, so I was the American flag, too. And I just start, like, running, and I was like, okay, you got to run as fast as you can. Like, their legs are so much longer than yours. And I know, like, Aiden and Will aren't, like, the fastest people in the whole world. So I was like, I'll be able to keep up just fine. Mm -hmm. And so we're going. And, I mean, just, like, naturally, they were just booking it. Uh And they were like, you have to speed up. And I was like, you have to slow down. Like, I I was like, I don't think you understand. I am running with all the speed I have inside of me. And it was flat ground. On top of that, you can't pump your arms because you're holding a flag. So it's we were difficult. Like running like this, <laughs> and it's pour- this one was pouring down rain. The so rain you're was just like crazy. It, there's just rain, and <laughs> Will's in his boxing Broncos like oh. pants, and I just like <laughs> I, I was in a swimsuit because of um, lifeguard lifeguards, yeah. and so and then. I, 
Aiden was in that, <laughs> that <laughs> the Flintstones. his Flintstones <laughs> caveman thing. And so I'm just like, I've got like boxing Broncos here and cavemen here. And I'm just like running with everything <laughs> I have inside of me. But I don't know how you did it. Be- and all I had to I make it did. to was the spillway. Not far, but, and it's even downhill. It's it's a crazy thing. It is a crazy thing. It, that is just crazy. Did you run the flags? Mm-mm. No. no. I bet you get ready, Queen. So much faster. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe all of us have had our running and falling experiences. <laughs> it's yeah. Fun somehow. yeah, it's awesome. Well, this has been so much fun. So How great. fun is this little hangout? So I much. Know, fun. I love it. I feel like we've fixed a lot of the world's problems, and I think we get a lot of PR from this. I so think you're correct. I see a lot of cars in our future. Thank yeah. goodness. Um, but thanks. Thanks for being being on the podcast. This was so thanks fun. Thanks for hosting for thanks us. For yes. us. Guys, it was my absolute honor. I'm just glad you guys were able to be here. All right, well, um, Brook Hill Podcast out. Stay safe out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pass out or get stuck in other yard cars. Okay, yay! <laughs> Yo, that was so fun! Yay! Woo! They're clapping for us! Oh, oh my gosh! Wow. I Thanks, love viewers. Cool. Thanks! Oh my Thank gosh, you. people, stop Thank it! Thank you! Stop it! Stop. Yeah, we're good. We just, it just fades out. It's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It just fades out. fade out here. Uh, <laughs> fade out here. Like this. Hey, okay, bye guys. Here we go. I sang it to start out with. Yeah, yeah, we're using your audio for you.